before we begin today's adventure, I wanted to backtrack and take care of some of the tips that you guys left me. First of all, we're back here in Glimwood Tangle. As you guys told me, this is where we can find a Galarian Ponyta, and I just bumped into one, so we are going to be catching this Pokemon. Let's see if we can stand up to the Ponyta. The stomp is going to be coming out. We do have Donatello up in front, and Donatello just flinched. Let's go for the water gun here. The Ponyta is going to keep going for the stomp. You guys can also see that the Ponyta is very high level. So adding this Pokemon to the team is going to be a great addition. It's going to fit right into the team. Let's stand up. Let's keep it going. We're doing pretty good against this Ponyta. And if I can weaken it down just a little bit more, we'll start chucking those Pokeballs at it. So far, so good. That was a crit as well. I have to tell you guys, in order to find this Ponyta, you just got to run around Glimwood Tangle. It took a little while, but it wasn't that difficult at all. You just got to keep running into the exclamation points until you find it. I got pretty lucky and it didn't take me that long to find the Ponyta. So let's start chucking. Ooh, a heal ball would be nice to get the Ponyta in. So let's go ahead and chuck that heal ball. If we can catch it inside of the pink Pokeball, that would be amazing. The Pokemon broke free and another agility is going to be used. Nonetheless, I've also stocked up on Great Balls, Ultra Balls, so I have pretty much everything ready to go for us, ladies and gentlemen. I have 20 Ultra Balls. Let's start chucking them at Ponyta. Ponyta, you gotta join our team. It's gonna be an absolute blast. We're gonna treat you right. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Oh, so close. So close. I thought we had it there. The Heal Pulse is going to be coming out. And that healed Donatello. What the fudge? Okay, Ponyta. That's really nice. Ponyta's not even on our team yet. It's already helping us heal up some of our other Pokemon. What a nice Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta tell you guys that. So I could go for another Water Gun, but I don't want to risk it. So we're just gonna keep chucking the Ultra Balls until we can catch this Ponyta. As we are very, very close already, I have a feeling we're gonna be able to catch it here. It went for another Heal Pulse. That is too bad, little Ponyta. We are already full health. We appreciate you helping us out, though. I also want to give you guys a big thank you for all the tips and comments you guys always leave me. I'm making sure to take care of them as we go. If you guys have been enjoying this series, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. We're having a lot of fun playing through Pokemon Sword and Shield. I can't wait to see what else the adventure will have in store for us. This Ponyta does not want to be caught, ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys seeing this? It just keeps going for the heal pulse here. And I am not able to catch it as of right now. Keep it up, Donatello. I'm going to go for another Ultra Ball. I could go for another move here, but I really don't want to risk it because you have to run around quite a bit for the Ponyta to pop out since there's a bunch of other Pokemon here in Glimwood Tangle as well. Gotcha, Ponyta was caught. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to gain some XP from this. Everybody's gaining XP. Stripes grew XP. Savitar grew on levels. And with that, Ponyta's data will be added to the Pokedex. That is Ponyta, the unique horn Pokemon. It is the Galarian form. It's a psychic type. This Pokemon will look into your eyes and read the contents of your heart. If it finds evil there, it promptly hides away. Ooh, so you have to be a good person to have this Pokemon. We're going to call our Ponyta Pegasus. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to add Pegasus to our party. And we're going to switch out one of our Pokemon. Donatello, it's time for you to go back into the PC and with that, guys, I'd like you to welcome Pegasus, the Galarian Ponyta, to our team. We're done here in Glibwood Tangle, but we're not done adding Pokemon to our team. Let's go on to the next location. There's one more Pokemon for us to add to our team before we continue our adventure. We're here on Route 5. Now, if you guys remember in Route 5, this is where the Pokemon Nursery is located. And I was told that if we make our way inside of the nursery, we'll be able to get a Pokemon. So let's talk to this person over here. It's a Toxel, a real Toxel. I found an egg and carried it around with me, and it hatched into a Toxel. Why don't you raise it? It's a real shocking Pokemon. So there we have it. We've received a Toxel. And I have to tell you guys, you've really been wanting me to add this Pokemon to our team. So that is Toxel, the baby Pokemon. It's an electric poison type. It manipulates the chemical makeup of its poison to produce electricity. The voltage is weak, but it can cause a tingling paralysis. We are going to give our Toxel a nickname. We are going to call Toxel Magenta. So there we have it, guys. And we are going to be adding Magenta to our party. Now, you guys know that we have two electric types on our team already. So having a third one wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. So we're going to put Savitar back into the PC. And we're going to add Magenta to our party. 
And take these too. They'll help your Pokemon grow if you use them. We got ourselves 5 XP candies extra small. Well, thank you so much, trainer. We officially have a Toxel and a Galarian Ponyta on our team. We're ready to begin our adventure. Hello, my Pro Banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we obtained our fifth badge here in the Galar region, we got three more to go. After we defeated Opal, Opal brought us back to Hammerlock. So today we're going to explore Hammerlock and see what we can find. We have two brand new Pokemon on our team. I'm feeling good. It's time to keep progressing with our adventure. We're a big boy trainer now. Five badges? That's pretty good. Come to gawk at me now that I've had my gym challenge ban taken away and my gym challenge's status revoked. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Of course! Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me after all. I'll have you know, though, that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Mm, my boy! Now that's what I would call pink! So sincere and straightforward and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it! That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth! Time for my gym mission, child! Huh, what? Pink! Pink! And pink! Congratulations, child! M Miss Opal, what in the world has gone into you? You were used by Oleana, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you want to put in, too. Are you... are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. Farewell for now, child. You should head to Sir Chester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7. Looks like a match made in heaven. Opal wanted someone with pink. Bead has been eliminated from the gym challenge and wears a lot of pink. Look at that. Put two and two together and you might have yourself a brand new gym leader. Now onwards we go ladies and gentlemen as we are ready to make our way out to Route 7. Hey yeah, the badge collecting going well. I've been doing some research on the runes and stolen side, the sword and shield. What kind of Pokemon were they? Where are they now? Still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in. Oh no, not again! Are you kidding me? What was that? Hammerlock Stadium shook. That's what Chairman's Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Huh, a power spot. You mean like where you can Dynamax? That's right, the power spot detector reacts when it's possible to Dynamax! Hey Sonia, and Rodri too, you felt the shaking, right? Seems Chairman Rose is tensing something out again. This is bad! Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock! Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. You'll just get lost, Leon! I'm going too! I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on the quaking to the adults. Head to Sir Chester and get that gym badge! Oh, Rodri! What's up, Hop? Let's go say hi to Hop. How's it going, dude? Long time no see. First that force and that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word, but it looks like I finally caught up to you again. Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Onwards we go to Route 7. It looks like there's some problems. Inside a hammerlock, I hope that Leon and Sonia can solve them. We've made it to Route 7. Here we are. And do you guys see the mountainside? 
All right, Rodri, you and I both know I've got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm going to get strong enough to catch up the lead. No, not just catch up, if I want to surpass him. So I think you know what's coming, mate. Let me try out my latest in a battle against you. Here we go, Rodri versus Pokemon Trainer Hop. We're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. He's going to send out a Trevenant, and this battle is on its way, ladies and gentlemen. I do have Pegasus up in front, so let's see what our little Ponyta can do. All right, time for me to test exactly how far I can go with my latest and greatest team. Honestly, same for us, dude. We're pretty much testing out our Pokemon. So let's go for the side beam here onto the Trevenant. That is not going to do too much. Here comes the Shadow Claw. That is going to do a lot to us, isn't it? Yes, it is. We barely stood up to that. How'd you like that attack? Now I really feel like we're getting somewhere. You're not wrong, my man. You are getting somewhere. We're going to switch out two stripes here. Who would have thought he was going to open up with a Trevenant? I have no idea what Pokemon Hop is going to use. I'm just getting surprised most of the time. Once in a while, you'll see him use something random. He picks up off a route. I don't know where this dude is coming up with his teams, but he's got some creativity. The way you battle, you know, kind of reminds me of Lee. Does it really? I wonder why that is, man. I wonder why that is. I feel like me and Lee have a lot more in common than just our battling style. Considering the possibility your opponent might land a critical hit on your Pokemon, mate. You know what, dude? I'm about to land a critical hit on him. Let's go for that nice last stripes. Let's take down this Trevenant and let's go on to the next Pokemon. The Trevenant is out. As I was saying, though, I feel like Lee and me have a lot in common, you know? You're kind of a person who doesn't ever take defeat for an answer. You're out there battling on your own. He's got purple hair. I can relate to the guy. You know what I mean, guys? I can relate. We're going to keep Stripes out for now against the Heatmore. Very cool to see a Heatmore out here. I did not think we'd be seeing this Pokemon. Let's go for that Night Slash one more time. And it might not do that much to the Heatmore, but it's going to be worth a shot. And that was a crit. How you like that, Hop? Nothing to say about the crits today. The Bug Bite is going to be super effective, though. So we've gone down, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who we can send out here. Now I have Tiny ready to go. Yeah, let's go ahead and send out Tiny. We also have Raven ready to go. We have Bugs ready to go. But you guys got to remember that our team is going to be at a bit of a tougher disadvantage now since we have two Pokemon that could use a little bit of training and that we need to get used to. Now that we put Donatello and Savitar back in the PC, it is time to train up our Pokemon. Magenta's gaining a bunch of levels, which is really good. A Snorlax! Sweet! Let's go ahead and send out Bugs against the Snorlax then. I'm really glad that Hop got himself a Kanto Pokemon. I like Snorlax a lot, and it was very, very cool to get it seen out there in the wild area. I never thought I'd see a big old Snorlax in 3D. I'm going to go for the double kick here, and it should be super effective. All right. It's going to take a little while, but it is super effective, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to take us about three turns to take this Pokemon down. Here comes the Body Slam. Mother Fudger, are you serious? Of course Hop would hit a freaking crit here. Are you guys kidding me? He hit the crit and he paralyzed me. Hop's got himself some luck. Gotta tell you guys that. Hop's got some luck on his side. Here comes another body slam. Let's tank it out. No crits this time, please. All right, no crits this time. A hyper potion did come out from Hop, though. I see you, Hop. So the battles with Hop are going to be getting a little bit tougher. I'm going to have to use a hyper potion out here, too, then. I have 17 of them, so we are pretty stocked up. I also have a couple of full heals and everything. If needed, we can use those right up and... Keep on taking down Hop. All right, Hop, come on. Let's take out that Body Slam Cinderace. We're good, baby. We're good. All right, I'm going to go for the double kick here one more time. Looks like we're good. At least I'm managing to land these super effective moves. Things could be a little bit worse if I was not able to land them at all. Here comes the Stockpile. All right, Snorlax is stockpiling, ladies and gentlemen. Snorlax is getting prepared. Snorlax is tanky. Snorlax is huge. We're going for that double kick. If we can just stand up a little bit longer, we should be able to take it down next turn. So here we go. Stockpile is going to be coming out one more time. And this is a chonky monkey. I got to tell you guys that 
This is a chonky Pokemon. This guy is not going down. This is a real chonky dude. All right, the double kick is going to do it. Snorlax is out of here. We're moving on to Hop's next, next Pokemon. And that was probably his toughest one. I got to tell you guys that. All right, everybody's gaining XP. Magenta grew. Next is going to be a Bolton. I'm not going to stop. We're just going to do this right here. It's too bad I can't Dynamax. That would be pretty sick. But nonetheless, I am going to go for the Pyro Ball. And it looks like the Crunch is going to be coming out. That is going to do a good bit of damage to us. I managed to hit the Pyro Ball, even with the Paralysis. And that is going to do a lot of damage to the Bolton. The Bolton is down, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's keep this moving. We're doing pretty good now. Magenta grew to level 20. Last but not least, it's going to be Rillaboom. I'm the kind of guy who gets fired up to win in these situations. Are you, Hop? Whoa. So that's Grookey's final evolution? Rillaboom. It has a drum? What the mother fudge? Okay, well, the Rillaboom is going crazy. Lucky for us, we do have Raven as well. So we still have a couple more Pokemon that are going to be super effective against these grass types. Let's go for that Drill Peck onto the Rillaboom. And that should do a lot of damage to this Pokemon. Rillaboom is down at half health. Here comes the knockoff. Did a good bit of damage, but not an insane amount. We're going to follow it up with another Drill Peck. Let's wrap this battle up. Oh, it survived. You got to be kidding me. All right, we avoided the attack. The Rillaboom is surviving. We're going to wrap it up with the Drill Peck. The Rillaboom is down, but I really like that Pokemon. It's like Gorilla Boom. Gorilla Boom. I like it a lot. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to gain a bunch of XP. Magenta grew to 21. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. This is rubbish. My team can't perform if I can't get my own head straight as their trainer. We got 44-40 for winning. Yes! There we go. Raven is evolving. I knew Raven was going to evolve very soon. And there we have it. Would you look at that Pokemon? Congratulations. Our Raven evolved into Corviknight. We now have a Corviknight on our team. That is awesome. Corviknight, the Raven Pokemon. It is a flying steel type. So now we also have a steel type. With their great intellect and flying skills, these Pokemon very successfully act as the Galar region's airborne taxi service. So these are the Pokemon that will take you around the region. We are going to learn Steel Wing. So there we go. There we go. Look at us getting stronger by the minute. We're going to get rid of Fury Attack. And we learn Steel Wing. Before we even started out on this journey, I remember watching Lee on the telly. He was like a bright star, so strong I could hardly bear to look right at him. But now I can tell just how strong he really is, and what he's got that I haven't. But I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine, whatever. Thanks for letting me battle with you again, and here, I'll heal up your team for you too. I think I know what it is I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that, I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion, and I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge in Sir Chester. You're on, Hop. We've made it to Route 7, and we're headed for Sir Chester. Let's get ready for some battles. I am going to switch some things up. Let's go ahead and put stripes in front. And let's get prepared. Let's get it going. That was a good battle. I wonder what we're going to find here on this route. We got an Ether. I'll take that Ether. I got to tell you guys, the Ethers actually help a lot. Team Yell. You just can't silence Team Yell. She's cute. She's tough. She won't take no one's guff. Oh, Marnie. She's all Marnie. All right, Team Yell. You keep on cheering on Marnie.
So far, so good. There's a lot of flying type Pokemon on this route. So keep an eye out. Look at all these Pokemon here. Whoa, I'm running. And I have just been ran down by a Lipard. That's how it would feel in real life. I feel like to get chased down by a Pokemon, you'll just be going through a route and the freaking Leopard or a Jaguar is going to come at you. The Lipard tried to go for the Sucker Punch. I got away safely, thankfully. Let's keep on going. We made it to Route 8. And would you look at this place? Whoa, it's ruins. So we're going to be making our way through some ruins here. Let's get our team prepared for that. I'm actually going to put Tiny up in front. We've been going up against a lot of flying type Pokemon. So Tiny's been doing a really, really good job. We'll make sure to keep that going. Also want to make sure to heal up our Pokemon before this. Because you never know what's going to be coming up, guys. All these routes have been pretty wild. We'll be having random trainer battles coming out. You never know what it is. <laughs> Ponyard. All right, Ponyard. Well, we're going to run right on through down the stairs. Looks like we're going to have a battle coming up too. So get prepared. We took down the doctor, but dang, you'd think the doctor could heal us up out here. In other Pokemon games, they'll have the doctors there, and if you beat them, they'll actually heal you up. I definitely gotta say, that is a very, very missed addition to this game. We got ourselves a shiny stone. A peculiar stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. Ooh, I wonder what kind of Pokemon evolve with that then. That is pretty freaking cool, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's see where I can use some of our repels. Because we're going to have to keep going through here. I don't really want to be bumping into any of these Pokemon for now. There we go. I feel like I'm doing pretty good going through these ruins. I've never seen an area like this in Pokemon. This is wild. Whoa, what is that? Do you guys see that Pokemon coming out of there? What is that? This is crazy. I just have to take all this in for the first time. I've never seen any of this before. And we got ourselves TM96 Smart Strike. Yeah, I'll take it. I do see that Lunatone down there too. This is so cool getting to see Pokemon in their actual environments. Where they're supposed to live. How it's supposed to be. I like this a lot. I really love getting to see the Pokemon world in 3D. And would you look at that? We bumped into a Golette. So if you guys are looking to add a Golette to your team, you know where you can find one. It is up in here in the ruins. Whatever these ruins are, I don't know what used to be here, but it looks like it was a big area. We got three Hyper Potions. And down we go, upwards and forwards. Believe we're headed in the right direction, guys. I believe we're heading the right way. As I tell you guys, if you're playing through Pokemon, just make your way to the back. That usually is going to take you to where you need to go. I got three Luxury Balls as well. Well, that's fancy. See, what is that Pokemon? I'm going to bump into it. I have to find out. That is going to be Wild Phalanx. Oh, okay. Phalanx. That is a weird looking Pokemon. It is level 40 as well. So we could catch it if we wanted to. I'm not going to catch it for now. I just needed to know what the fudge was going on there. So I don't seem like I don't know what is going on. Nothing up here. Okay. Let's use that repel. And we also got ourselves a big nugget. All right. There was something up here. That trainer had a Dreepy, which is a Pokemon that you guys have been telling me that I should catch as well. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for it. If I see it out here randomly, I'll go after it. But for right now, I haven't seen the Dreepy just yet.
Bugs grew to level 40. And let's keep on going. Do you guys see that Pokemon up there? How did it get there? Nonetheless, we'll see what else we can find here. It looks like I got myself a King's Rock. And we also got ourselves a Nugget. A lot of Nuggets around here. So I wonder if whatever civilization was in this place before, they must have had a lot of gold up in here. You know what I'm talking about, guys? They must have been loaded with the gold. I'm going to make my way over here to the left, though. Can you move, Pokemon? Pretty sure there's a TM that way. I'm just going to have to run right through them. So that is going to be a Crustal. Good to see a Crustal up in here. It looks quite different in 3D. I have to tell you guys that. That is not how I remember Crustal, but it's pretty cool. I like to see it here. I'm glad it's having a bit of fun. And we got ourselves TM43 Brick Break. No way. We got the Brick Break Breakity, Brick Break Break Breakity, ladies and gentlemen. About time. That is my favorite TM. And we got it. Awesome. So let's look through our TMs now that we actually got the TM that I've been waiting for. And guess what? None of our Pokemon can learn it. Yes! That was a tough battle. Make sure you guys are ready for it. We've made it to another camp here. So if you guys are looking to camp out to hang out, we got a terrain extender. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It extends the duration of the terrain caused by the holder's move or ability. Makes a lot of sense that's here after we just had that tough sandstorm battle. So make sure you guys are prepared. Looks like we've made it through. We've made it to Route 8, Stream Drift Way. Let's make our way through here then. It looks like we are going to have a couple more battles coming up. There's a Pokemon guy here. There's a couple dudes, uh, the police dude. I'm actually going to run right by him. We've officially made it to our next town. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it to the town of Surchester. Buildings from an age long gone still stand about the steaming hot spring that covers the town. So we're ready to make our way inside of the Surchester gym. Next time we'll be continuing from here, so make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. I'm going to train up our Pokemon, try to have them caught up in levels for the next gym. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Goodbye!